Damn, your friend's hot too. We're here for our appointment. Now, the mansion itself looks pretty damn nice, actually. Uh, bum, bum, doo -doo. Doo -doo. Wait here, don't go wandering around. Oh, we need to look around for Tifa. she behind this? No. Can you talk to Eris? I wonder where she is. Go up the stairs. There we go. Closed. Office of the Don Corneo, keep out. Well, could she be in there? Or maybe... She's in the sex dungeon! Which this totally looks like. This is ridiculous. Oh, there she is. But first, oh, I want to grab that item. Um, Cloud, have you gone shy all of a sudden? But then again, I suppose in his current state he might be a bit apprehensive about talking to Tifa, his childhood friend. <laughs> Could be slightly embarrassing. And you are... So she did see us. Yeah, don't... I don't know. A Eris, what are you getting at? Aww. Friend zoned. Lord of the friend zone. Uh, poor Cloud having to stand here and listen to both of us call him nothing. <laughs> it feels great. Yeah, we're, we're kind of in a dress, Tifa. But anyway, let me just uh, grab this. And... hello! <laughs> Cloud? Well, it's a long story. I'm surprisingly fine. It's just my dignity that uh, has taken, you know, my pride. <laughs> it's taken the most damage. I'm dressed like this because there was no other way. There was another way. You just like this kind of shit, Cloud. I know you do. I'm glad you're okay, too. There was this weird man. I bet he did. Is Eris listening in? <laughs> Slyly? Barrett told me to leave the uh, the lech alone. Something's been bothering me. Hmm. Yeah. Really bad timing on your part. Every day he gets three girls, chooses one of them, and then... And... Well... Yeah. Yeah, I know you did, Eris. You did a really bad job of pretending to be, uh, butting out there. Uh, yeah, we are three girls. Well, <laughs> he'll think we are. Well, Tifa can probably handle herself a bit more. I don't think we're going to dissuade her anyway, so... Yeah. Call me Eris. Right, so... Looks like we're all going to be in this together. For better or worse. Probably worse. <laughs> no, definitely worse. It's time, ladies. The dawn is waiting. Oh, yay. Yay! Time for some sexy time. God damn it. 
Nope. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? But one thing, right? It's all well and good having a sex dungeon. Why would you keep the women that you want to audition down in said dungeon? Is that a scare tactic? If so, this guy is a complete fucking tool and we need to take him down. But anyway, we need to go. You're not so bad. <laughs> oh, please, do not tell Barrett. Do never, ever, ever tell Barrett about this, or I will kill you. Your hair is massive. Alright, let's go. Still think we should have changed our shoes, but never mind. You creep. You enjoy all this shit, don't you? Okay, so here he is. Very interesting, uh, very interesting hairstyle. Hello, are you gonna talk to me or what? Koch? What kind of a name is that? Here we go. So he's gonna pick his favourite. And, uh, well, I hope for Tifa's and Eris' sake he picks one of them. Not because I want them in danger or anything, or I want them to go through this, but if he picks Cloud, the man, over two genuine women, surely that's going to be a bit of a blow to the old ego. Oh, he's looking at Cloud. Cloud's avoiding eye contact. I've made up my mind. My choice for tonight is... Drum roll, please. Holy shit. Uh, wait, wait, wait a sec. I mean, uh, ple please, wait a moment. Oh, God. Yowza! Who says that? No one. Oh. That's fine. Great. Tifa, Eris, help. Please. I just just let me do it. But it's okay, because he's in for a nasty surprise. What a lovely room this is. How could you sleep in that, for one thing? All the bright colours. Drive you insane. Alright, pussycat, come to daddy. No! Look at him. What a fucking creep. Are there any items in here I can grab? Oh, the way he follows you. Ugh. Oh, I picked up something. I didn't get a chance to read it. Is that a disco ball? Of course it is. I never get tired of looking at you. But do you like me too? Of course! What do you want to do? Whatever you want, Daddy. Mm-hmm. He's just gonna explode. Oh, God! Alright, give me a kiss. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Just a minute. Well, wasn't that fortunate. <laughs> I was getting a bit too into character. Um, what the hell? Who goes there? Were you really? <laughs> yeah, no, of course not. And we are back. Transformed into Man Cloud. Time for a good old fashioned interrogation. Wow! Okay. Straight for the uh, sensitive area. That's good. Tell you everything. I made him find out where the man with the gun arm was, but that's what I was ordered to do. By who? Oh! 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 oh it's getting me all cringy. Heidegger? Is that how you say it? Of Shinra? Head of Public Safety Maintenance? PSM. 
head of, uh, yeah? What are they up to? If you don't tell us... Smash them. Whoa. Tifa, I love it when you talk dirty. Shinra's trying to crush a small rebel group called Avalanche. Dun dun dun. Crush them literally? What are you talking about? Breaking the support, holding up the plate? Shit. Everything's gonna go BAM! Oh no. They know where the hideout is. How the hell do they know that? They're gonna kill everyone in Sector 7. We need to get out of here. We need to stop this. Just a second. We don't have time. How do you think scum like me feels when they babble on about the truth? Uh, they've pretty much given up on life. They're sure they'll win. They don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, they're sure they'll win. Oh, the old trapdoor. He's done a Mr. Burns on us. Oh, no. But wait, where are we now? This is the Shinra theme. Looks like the president's back from his uh, <laughs> shenanigans. Ah, this is Heidegger. Smoothly, very smoothly. Urban Development Department. I have been involved in the building and running of Midgar. Yeah, so they're basically just, just going to destroy most of his work, or at least a sector of it. That is an amazing beard. this president dude. Oh, he's got a cigar as well. You scum. We we need to stop this. But first of all, oh, sewers. Great. Well, there's an item there that I want to grab. We're going to, oh, maybe I should have <laughs> checked if they were okay first. <laughs> But, you know, they're fighting with us. Oh, we got a uh, preemptive on teenage ninja mutant fucking turtles in the sewer, really. Well, that's just amazing. And we need to equip Tifa with some stuff. Materia, specifically. God, it feels like ages since we had the, la the last fight. I didn't mean to target just one of them. Okay. Why can't I target all of them? That's strange. What's going on there then? Yeah, after this fight, I really need to just change my setup a bit and just make sure it's uh, correct. There's the cover material in action there, and that is awesome because. Oh, well, we'll use that limit break in the next fight. Oh, it's nice to have Tifa fighting with us again. Level 7 for Aries. Take a potion. Right, let's just make sure. Why couldn't we attack all of them? Should have been able to, maybe? Oh, you only get to do it once in a fight? That's right, yeah. The more you level up the all materia, 
the more times you can do that in a fight. That's right. Yeah, I remember now. Okay, so we need to, uh, well, first of all, give Tifa her new equipment. Uh, Titan Bangle will do nicely. And material-wise, hmm, I suppose I could give her one of Eris' spells, maybe, just to give her a bit of a... But then again, I'm just going to be using Tifa mostly for her fists, so I might just leave it like that for now. Yeah. Anyway, right, let's get this, uh, probably a potion, yep, okay, not too amazing, but... Tifa, you okay? This is terrible. You got that right. What a shitty situation. Literally. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. Never ever say that. Oh, you had to, didn't you? You just had to. Boss fight time. Do -do 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 -do. I should really heal. Whoa, that thing's ugly! Christ! That thing's... Ooh, that's not going to be a nice attack. Tifa's got her limit break. I don't know. Have we seen Tifa's limit break before? Well, we're about to, and it's quite an interesting one, if I haven't shown it off before. It's like a slot machine. I'm actually just going to uh, cure myself there. Oh, nearly. So you just got to time it right. If you get three yes, then it does quite a bit more damage. Nothing too amazing there, but it's kind of kind of different. Do -do 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 -do. Definitely my favourite uh, slot machine type limit break in the series is, is probably Walkers from FF10. Don't know what this guy's weak against. Is he weak against anything specifically? He hurt himself with that one. That was silly. Two limit breaks. Nice. Healing Wind, definitely need that. Oh, there we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And it didn't really do any, you know, any significant damage there, really, but it feels good when you get the the best possible one. Trying ice on him. He really hurt himself then. God. I have a feeling he's going to be dead pretty soon. Boosh, there we go. I can't even remember that guy's name. Didn't even check. Oh well, he's dead. We can forget about him. I must say, Tifa has some exquisite legs. Right, 240. Jolly good. Phoenix down. No, Tifa, that is too negative. We can still save him. I mean, that is a big freaking pillar. So, you know, it won't be, won't be easy at all. So let's just get out of here quickly. Ooh, hang on. Can we go across that gate? How do we... Oh no, there's some stairs there, right. We need to go up there anyway. That looks like a bit of materia. Steel materia, excellent, that's what we want. If we equip this on someone, they will be able to steal items from enemies. And I'm going to give that Tifa, actually. What am I doing? It's materia, not an item. There we go. So at least she has some materia now. Let's try and jump down, yes. 
More frickin' turtles. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try stealing from one of them. Problem is, the battle text actually is a bit too fast, because I do miss a lot of what's happening, so I might have to turn that down a little bit. I stole a hyper. Yeah, that's way too fast. I can barely read that. Go back into the config. I definitely want that battle speed, uh, battle message going down to that again. Yeah. Hmm. Do, do, do. Now, I'm actually. How do we get up there? Ah, there we go. Read any of that shit on the wall? Nope. Okay. And here we go. This is the area, the train graveyard, which we uh, saw quite briefly before. Well, can't really leave you to go home at the moment, because we're kind of stuck. Should be able to get out of here. Right. So that's a nice little tip. Save point. Uh, let's grab this item first, though. A high potion! But yeah, let me just see. What I know I stole a hyper. Well, in fact, I may have stolen two of them. Cures Sadness. So that's good to have. And um, I think I'm probably going to end it here for now. Uh, in the next video we're going to explore the train graveyard and see if we can't get back to Sector 7 before it's utterly obliterated. Thanks for watching everyone and I shall see you next time.